What's going on, pros? Back here in another Adventure Pros Mod Spotlight. And this mod spotlight is called the Unlit Torches Mod. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Spikey. Me and my partner Diggy, we make just amazing series together. And one of the series that we make is Dungeon & Dragons. It's a new one that just came out, and we have this mod in it. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Oh! Oh! It's just started raining. Uh, let's just turn that off, just for the... Just for the sake of the thing, because that actually messes up with the mod. And uh, I'll show that off in a second. So I'm going to first, I'm going to grab this flint and steel. And this flint. And as you can see, I have a bunch of, like, just unlit torches. And what you're going to want to do to make these, is just make a normal torch, a stick and a coal together. And then you get yourself an unlit torch. And what you can do with the unlit torch, you place it. Or just put it in your inventory with your pocket crafting. And you can just put a flint in it right there and there you go I have a torch now just a normal lit torch and whoa whoa it got all light <gasps> whoa look at dynamic lighting and dynamic lighting it doesn't work with this mod because just cuz how it works and it's just so he implemented this just because because he likes I guess he likes the mod dynamic lighting I know I like it but now with this new mod it's just just it's the same so with a flint and steel I can also light these things on the wall or in my pocket and I could do the same thing with the flint on the wall or if I grab some of the torches and right click a uh, lit torch boom I grab I have now lit torches or if I grab a lit torch and I put it in my pocket with a ready uh, torch that's lit I get one torch and then I can grab the other torch as well which is actually pretty cool right pros and that's weird how it doesn't s uh, doesn't stack, so you're gonna have a bunch of uh, just like random torches in your pocket. But uh, if you come up to the lava over here that I have set up, and it keeps on setting fire in my house, ah! I can just right click and look at that. I have some lit torches right there. So if you're in the cave and you have you just made some unlit torches, you're like, oh man, I don't have a flint and steel. Just come up to some lava. I know there's lava around you. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me, pros. Then you could just yeah. Lit, light it just like that. I'm gonna actually toggle downfall and show you what it could do. Boom! Oh, all my torches, they're getting unlit because it's water. Oh my god, bros. The futuristic of this mod. It's too much. Alright, let me just, I'll just turn that off just real quick. I'm just gonna wander over to my little pond, my little mill, my little broken mill. I'm gonna throw a torch in. Boom! Unlit. Right? That's amazing. Or if I want to just split this real quick and then right click the water, boom, all my torches are unlit as well. Or if I fall into the water, but for some reason I fall in, oh, unlit torches. It sucks, right? But more realistic, right? Right, pros, don't you think? And now we're going to get into this guy right here. Look at this guy. You see his big universe right there? That's what we're getting. No, okay, we're getting into what's in his hand. As you can see, he has a what is that what is this trickery right pros and first i'm going to show you about the unlit torches in him they get along very well if i place that on the ground boom he just lit it just for me thanks buddy love you too so <laughs> as you can see he trades four iron ingots for what a tinder box and fire steel we're gonna get don't say huh i say huh N no <laughs> and you're gonna want to put this is uh, making the unlit lantern. As you can see, it's unlit. You know, you gotta light it still. And three, uh, uh, six iron ingots, and then two glass panes will make you an unlit lantern. And we're just gonna come over here. Just place that real quick on the ground, and you can see, look at how beautiful that is. Now, if you shift right click, you can pick it back up, place it back down. It's really cool. And if I put three iron ingots together, I get a lantern handle. Mix it out with an unlit lantern, and then get an unlit lantern with a handle. And then I could put it on the hook on the wall, and boom, I got a handled, a handled lantern with a, uh, on top of a hook. And to make a hook is just a stick and some oak wood planks or any sort of wood. And you get one of these bad boys, and then you could just decorate your house with them or just carry them around. And then we're gonna want to get into the tinder box part. As you can see, my buddy over here, he sells them. Or you can make them with two iron ingots. You get an empty tinder box, mix it with a wool, get a tinder box, tinder box for the flint and steel, mix a tinder box with fire steel. 
and then I'm just gonna light that with my tin in the box and you can see it has temporary fire and I'm just gonna shove that back in my chest real quick and then I'm gonna show you the next thing so if I mix a if I just put a raw pork chop, you know how to get pork chops. You just kill a piggy real quicky, and then you get some raw pork chop. You just put it in the crap the table, just one, and you get animal fat right there. Look at that nasty white turd. Just like let me just throw it on the ground. Here, eat. It's feeding time. Oh, uh, I can't even throw. <laughs> Darn it. So if you put three animal fat in a glass bottle, you get some uh, bottled fat. Yep. Ah, pros, uh, bottled fat. You can just sip on it. No, no, you don't sip on it, pros. <laughs> you put it in the furnace, and you get lantern oil. Let me just start that up and just, like, cook it up real quick. Uh, get the jiggy on. Yep, and I got lantern oil now. I'm going to split that in half so that I can split it between the lanterns that I have over here. And as you can see, when I right-click it, it uses two, and I'll just use them all up. Just shove it all in my lantern. It has, it has max uh, fuel right now. Isn't that oh, light? Let's just grab my uh, tinder box back so that I can light it back. Oh, and there. Now it's wasting fuel, and you could just turn it back off with your hand, and it'll turn off and stop wasting fuel. You could also do that with the lit, with the one on the wall, and then I could just fill that up as well, with my lantern oil, and boom, nice lit lantern, right? So, let me just shove this all back in this chest over here, and let's go for a joyride with these babies. Well, first I need to light this. Boom. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, l light it. Let me pick it up then. Oh, there we go. And as you can see, ow, ow! Oh my god, I'm on fire! As you can see, it's very hot, the lantern, right? Oh, oh, it's so hot. And it still lights as well, but you get hurt. As you go and look at that, as you can see, a fifth person. Look, I'm just holding a lantern, barehanded. Look at my nice skin. You see my nice skin, pros? Yeah. And you could do that. You could do the same thing with the handled uh, lantern, but it won't hurt you. Oh, boom. And look, I'm holding it by the lantern. Oh, I'm lagging a little bit. Wow, that's weird. And uh, yeah, I could just go downstairs and do the same thing. Yeah. Look at that, pros. Isn't that cool? This mod is absolutely amazing. This is a really good medieval mod. And years to come, I'm going to be using this in all the little medieval sort of packs that we do. Hope you guys enjoyed this mod spotlight. If you did, leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe to become a pro today. Today. Yes, today. I'm Spike2000. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey, what's going on, pros? It's Diggy Man here, and I'm here to show you how to install the Unlit Torch mod. Now, if you do not download the Forge already, make sure to hit the link up on this, right on top somewhere here. I'm gonna have a link to the video to show you how to install Forge. Now, if you did already, let's get going here. All right, now, after you download, underneath this video is gonna be a link to the Untorched mod, okay? So, after you have it on your desktop like so, you're gonna come up to your start button, you're gonna put percentage, app, data, percentage, and you're gonna come up to your roaming here, and you're gonna find your .minecraft folder, you're gonna open it up like so. And in here, you're gonna see a mods folder. You're gonna open it up and you're gonna grab this unlit torch mod and just gonna drag it in here and start up your Minecraft. Boom, boom, boom. Make sure you're running under Forge and start up your Minecraft like so. And you're going to see the fourth mod, and the mod is Unlit Torches and Lanterns. We just used this in our um, Dungeons and Dragons mod pack, and it's really cool. It makes it more realistic, more tough gaming, 
And if you like that stuff and you like me, like us, we like to challenge ourselves. And I'm gonna go into creative, so make sure to, I'm gonna start the world, make sure everything works properly. And I wanna see a torch in my hand anyway. That's what I do. I like to show everything. I don't like to cut any corners. Like, uh oh, ah, what, what, who, ah, what, hey, who, what? Oh, look at this. I'm in the world of Minecraft. It's crazy. All right, let's look. Look, oh man, look, look, look. I'm gonna bring this down. I'm gonna bring this down. <gasps> Does that have a handle? Yes, with handle. Make sure you build a handle if you guys are gonna use this. Because if you don't, you're in trouble. Look at me. I have a lit torch in my hand. <laughs> it's, it's freaking fantastic. This is, makes my life a lot easier. I'm gonna put this little hook here. Damn, I can't even see it. It's right there. I'm gonna hang my, God darn it, I have another lamp in my hand. I wanna hang it, hang it, God darn it, hang it. Get off my hand, you damn lamp. God darn it. I hope this mod spotlight helped you. I'm gonna continue to try to get rid of all these lamps in my pocket. I am diggy, man. And I'm out. Later, pros. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now all pros are here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom out, all the pros are here.